I gotta tell you guys, I absolutely love hunting and I love being outdoors, but early season is a killer when it comes to bugs and insects. So if you're gonna venture into the woods, you're gonna want these products, I promise you. Stay tuned. Guys, I was just thinking, <clears throat> I got new boots, Hunter and I, Bass Pro had a hell of a deal um, on some boots. They had uh, these rubber boots on sale for 40 bucks. It's probably over now. And uh, one of the first things I like to do when wearing these into the woods early season is treat them. So one of the things I have, products I absolutely love to use that works incredibly great is um, from Sawyer it's an insect repellent uh, it's permethrin odorless you treat your clothes and they are good for six weeks or six washes <clears throat> whichever uh, I just got this can to try it out this says it treats four outfits which an outfit is a shirt pants and socks that's what an outfit consists of it comes in a um, a can like this and it also comes with a trigger sprayer like this as well and I buy this at my local Walmart they keep it in stock there right before hunting season thank God because this stuff is amazing since I've been using this I don't know if you guys deal with chiggers at all but we have chiggers here in New Jersey I mean absolutely horrible so I treat my clothes with this I treat my boots with it, I spray my clothes down, I let, leave them to hang, I wear them, you know, about 24 hours later, I treat my boots and my socks with it as well, and I haven't had a chigger bite in years, I haven't had a tick on me in years, and uh, it actually just works that great. I'll show you how we apply this, it's very simple. These are the boots, by the way, that we just got, let's check these out. Here we are. It's that Stratus camo. Just a regular boot. Hunter and I both got these. So I'm just gonna show you how we treat these. I'll do the other pair off, off camera. But what I like to do is I like to just stand these up like this, set them up. I'm actually going to use this spray. Use this kind of in a well-ventilated area. It doesn't, it's not too bad, but I just recommend using it in ventilation. And I am just going to make sure I soak every, every possible inch around the boot with this, as well as right around the front of it. Or right around the top where your ankle's gonna go in then I'll just take that and I'll let it sit and kind of soak in guys um, I, I promise you get this stuff check it out you will never have a chigger on you again or a tick like I said if you don't deal with chiggers you are lucky so that's one set of boots and uh that's about it i'm gonna do his next so um actually why not i'll just take him out i'll do his real quick as well so you can see how i use that uh the other the other uh bottle that i have which is the regular trigger spray and uh yeah we'll do his too why not it's still got the tag on it. Let's remove that. This kid's growing so damn fast. He's just going to be sharing all my stuff soon. He's one foot size smaller than me.
All right, now we have the trigger spray version. Same thing, guys. We're just gonna spray it on. Make sure to soak all that. I actually, to be honest, like the trigger spray uh, version of this better. And that's that. We'll just let it sit out and dry off. They are sprayed, they're treated. That'll last quite a while. And uh, nothing to worry about there. So we have our boots sprayed, treated. I didn't do my camo for the hunting season yet. I didn't do my clothes that I actually take out just to dump uh, corn when I have to do that. Or, um, you know, throw up cameras, check on stands, whatever. Um, I didn't do that. Um, but the other must-have product is a thermocell. If you're in an area with a ton of mosquitoes, thermocell is a must-have. Guys, trust me when I tell you mosquitoes, like, magically disappear when this thing is on. It is a lifesaver. Very simple to use. It's got an on-off switch. It's got a start button. It's got this little clip down here. You undo. You unscrew this butane um, cartridge. It's just a fuel cartridge. You put it in there. You screw it in. Simple to use. Pop that back in. It takes an insect propellant mat right here. Um, basically, once you click it on, turn it on, you have this metal hard mat under here. That's going to heat up. It's going to heat up your insect propellant mat that just slides right in. And it releases basically a vapor that uh, <laughs> creates basically, it, it literally creates a uh, like a, a, an area around you where mosquitoes just will not come into that area. Now, I've been using this before and no mosquitoes i've had it where i ran out of the fuel in there and it turned off and all of a sudden it was like being swarmed by mosquitoes so you just pop in a new butane uh fuel into there fire back on let it heat up mosquitoes gone again guys i promise you to these two things game changers absolutely will make your life in it's in the woods in a stand much happier one more item <clears throat> that is an absolute must-have and thought about this a long time ago we came up with it and i always keep one of these in my backpack and they are super cheap to have on you god forbid you wore something and didn't have your clothes treated or your boots treated and before we started using all that stuff, <clears throat> all the chemicals, the, the, the sprays for our clothes to treat them, the thing we were using then was a lint roller. Very simple. You walk to your stand, you walk into the woods to your camera, you get there, you roll your clothes, <clears throat> it literally pulls off everything off of you. You remove your sheet, you just crumble it up, and just keep rolling until you have no more chiggers, ticks, whatever it is on you. I have gone through before patches of woods here in New Jersey, I'm in central New Jersey, where I've rolled my clothes and went through about seven sheets full of chiggers um, in the past. So no joke, it is definitely a very useful tool. And I promise you guys, for a few dollars, three, four bucks, just keep one in your backpack at all times. It'll definitely save you um, some worries about being bit. So those things, three things combined or used by themselves, definitely better than using nothing. All three together, I promise you, I haven't had a bite from a chigger or a tick in years. And I spend a lot of times in the woods I'm going to do everything I can possibly do to protect my son as well. This is just 
one safety precaution. I don't need either of us coming out, coming out, you know, with Lyme's and or any other of the tick-borne diseases that are out um, now. But guys, take care of yourselves. Be cautious of your kids. Anything you can do to help, definitely do it. So that's just a quick rundown of things that I like to do, and uh, hopefully you can uh, use some of this advice for yourself and uh, save yourself a little headache. I'm sure your wife will appreciate it too, you not bringing all these bugs back into the house <laughs> or uh, on your clothes and then, you know, throwing your stuff right in the washing machine. Treating your clothes, you'll never even have anything on you in the first place. Using the mosquito, the thermocell, the mosquito repellent, that thing will save you from being bit. And the lint roller, well, that's just an added safety precaution as well. So if you like the video, if these tips help you at all, I, I hope they do. Um, then let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know if you use any of these things, all of these things, or none of them. We're a different product. I'm definitely always open to try different things. So, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.